Pumitura Narayanan Krishnan was born on October 6th, 1928 at Paravur, Kerala into an illustrious family of musicians known as Bhagavatar Matam, acclaimed in the best traditions of Indian classical music. Both his parents, A. Narayan Iyer and Ammini Ammal, hailed from families whose musical lineage could be traced back five generations. Music was an integral part of his childhood in Tripunitura in the southern Indian state of Kerala, where his father and guru, A. Narayan Iyer, was an eminent music educator. Tripunitura was also the seat of the Cochin royal family, who were great patrons of the classical arts. Narayan Iyer was an extraordinary teacher and strict disciplinarian, who spared no effort in developing Krishnan's innate talent. Young Krishnan was also taught by his grandfather Appadure Bhagavadar and violin maestro G. Krishnayar, popularly known as Kittam Bhagavadar. The little boy learnt complex compositions such as the Narayana Gaula Atatala Varnam and Sri Subramanyaya Namaste in Kamboji, which he absorbed very quickly. Father Narayana Iyer also used to take little Krishnan regularly to the city park in Cochin to listen to the corporation radio broadcasts. The evening performances on the radio between 7.20 and 9.00 pm were Krishnan's first exposure to the music of contemporary greats such as Aryakudi Ramanujo Iyengar, Tiger Varadacharya and the Karaikudi brothers. He also had his first glimpse of his latter-day guru Shambhangudi Srinivas Iyer when the maestro performed at the local palace in 1939. Krishnan had his Arangetram at Tripunitura's famous Purnatrayisha temple at the age of seven. By his eighth birthday, Krishnan was already being hailed as a child prodigy in Kerala, performing in temple festivals, accompanying visiting Vidwans and catching the attention of the music literati. Krishnan recalls that one of his earliest supporters was a maternal uncle, G. Narayanayar, a renowned advocate in Perumbavur. Father A. Narayanayar was a regular accompanist for great vidwans of the time, such as Palaghat Ramabhagavatar. He was also acquainted with and used to accompany Alapi Parthasarathi Iyengar or Papa Sami, a famous lawyer who was also a disciple of Aryakudi. Papa Sami recognized the enormous talent of his friend's son, the young prodigy, and affectionately guided Krishnan. In 1939, the threat to Cochin Harbour during World War II resulted in an evacuation warning, leading to the family's move to Tiruvananthapuram, where Narayanayar landed a job as storekeeper at the art school. Krishnan enrolled at the SMV school in Trivandrum in the fourth form. Maternal uncle G. Narayan Iyer's brother Rama Iyer and Professor R. Srinivasan were his patrons, with Srinivasan even arranging an unprecedented solo concert for Krishnan at the Ananda Lodge in Trivandrum's Chale neighborhood. 1941-42 was also the time when the now legendary Navaratri Mandapam concerts were started by the Travancore royal family. Krishnan's father took him along to meet all the great Vidwans who had arrived in Trivandrum for the festival, such as Shamangudi, Budalur Krishnamurti Shastrigal, Musiri Subramanya Iyer, Tanjavur Vaidyanath Iyer, and violin wizards such as Papa Venkatramaya and Kumbakonam Rajamanikam Pillai. Krishnan was asked to perform before the Vidwans. He impressed them a great deal and earned in the process a shawl from Tanjavur Vaidyanath Iyer. It was Musiri Subramanya Iyer who directed Krishnan's father to approach Shemangudi Srinivas Iyer for advanced training in Kritis and concert aspects. Musiri thought that Shemangudi's recent appointment to head the Swatitirnal College of Music in Tiruvananthapuram and his resultant move to the city was propitious in this respect. Krishnan's formal introduction to Shemangudi happened at the residence of no lesser person than the Devan, Sir C. P. Ramaswamy Iyer, with maternal uncle, the advocate Narayan Iyer being the facilitator. Father Narayan Iyer had to move to Nagar Koyal in 1942 to keep his job, resulting in a dilemma about Krishnan's continuance in Trivandrum. Matters were happily resolved when Shemangudi offered to take Krishnan into his own household along with his other students. The offer was accepted and Krishnan moved from SMV school to model school due to its proximity to the Guru's house. During the in-house apprenticeship with Shemangudi, 
Krishnan got the opportunity to play several local concerts. One such occasion was in late 1942 for Flute Mahalingam at Trivandrum's VJT Hall under the auspices of Swathi Tirunal Sangeetha Sabha. That concert of Mali with young Krishnan and Tanjavur Vaidyanath Iyer on the Mridangam was a turning point in Krishnan's life. The impressed Mali went back and sent word asking for the young violinist to come to Madras for a performance. That performance in 1943 for Mali along with Ramanathapuram CS Murugabhupati at RR Sabha was the opening of a proverbial floodgate with concert offers pouring in. A worried Narayan Iyer who did not hear from his son who had to stay back in Madras for further concert engagements rushed in from Nagarkoil. Happy to see Krishnan getting so many offers, Narayan Iyer made a quick decision to settle in Madras and rented a house at Thandavaraya Mudali Street in Triplicane, leading to a permanent settlement in the city. In a matter of weeks, the young boy from Kerala had become the star accompanist to legendary musicians such as Ariyakudi, Maharajapuram Vishwanath Iyer, Sembai Vaidhanath Bhagavadar, Musiri Subramanya Iyer, Shemangudi Srinivas Iyer, G. N. Balasubramanyam, Alathur Brothers and Madurai Mani Iyer. Master Krishnan as he was fondly addressed in his early days by fans and senior musicians alike immediately endeared himself to the audiences with his virtuosity and youthful charm It was at a wedding at Papa Swami's house in 1939 or 40 that Krishnan first met Aryakudi the first interaction in what became a lifelong association between the leading vidwan of the time and the young violin wizard Krishnan's music represents the purest expression of the Carnatic tradition. His emphasis on melodic clarity, spectral fidelity and a bold and emphatic bowing technique are unparalleled in this field. His instrumental style captures the essence of the gayaka experience which delivers the music with all the depth and emotion of a human voice. Uh... 
Tian Krishnan has received numerous awards and honors over the many years. Most notable among them being the Padma Bhushan and the Padma Shri from the Government of India, the National Artist Award from the All India Radio, the National Award 1974 from the Sangeet Natak Academy, the prestigious Sangeet Kalanidhi in 1980 from the Music Academy in Madras, the Astana Vidwan of the Tirumala Tirupati Devasthanam in Tirupati. In the midst of his concert commitments, Krishnan has also carried on his father's tradition of teaching music to a number of students, both in the traditional parampara setting and more formal academic environments. In 1965, at the invitation of Musiri Subramanyayar, he joined the State Music College in Chennai as Professor of Music and subsequently served as its principal. He also went on to serve as Dean of the School of Music and Fine Arts at the University of Delhi. T. N. Krishnan has been closely associated with several national and international institutions engaged in the preservation and development of the arts. He has served as a Vice Chairman of the Sangeet Natak Academy, one of India's foremost cultural agencies involved in nurturing and supporting the traditional arts and crafts. He has also chaired various committees for the All India Radio and state universities and academies. Professor Krishnan has travelled the world, performing and promoting Indian classical music for the past 60 years. He has visited the United States, Great Britain, France, Germany, Austria, Australia, the former Soviet republics, the Middle and Far East, not only performing and enthralling audiences but also conducting music workshops for teaching and promoting awareness of Indian classical music. Today, T. N. Krishnan is one of the elder statesmen of the classical music community in India. His rich and vibrant style has been admired and adopted by a number of the younger musicians, including his daughter Viji Krishnan Natarajan and son Sri Ram Krishnan, who carry on his musical legacy. Professor Krishnan continues to perfect his craft with boundless energy and curiosity. He and his wife Kamala continue to travel the globe performing, educating and promoting awareness and appreciation of the rich culture and musical traditions of India.